Hey guys, welcome back to the Struggleville 2 YouTube channel. For this video, we are going to tune the idle mixture screws on this Edelbrock carburetor. Now this is a 1406 Performer 600 CFM electric choke carburetor, but it's the same process for all the Edelbrock carburetors. A couple things to know about this whole procedure. Your goal is to have the engine running as best as possible while also being as lean as possible. And remember, these are idle mixture screws. It only applies when you are idling. As soon as you hit the gas, these screws are doing nothing. So there's no reason to be rich in this uh, position because all you're doing is getting worse fuel economy. There's no power gain or anything and you're probably gonna foul out your spark plugs. You have a screw on the right, that's the right side. You have a screw on the left. That's the left side. As you screw in, you are making it leaner. As you screw out, you are making it richer. So we want the best running we can while also having the screws in as much as possible. Now, to determine how the engine is running, the best way to do it is with a tack. You want the highest RPM. You can use the tack in your car. It might be a little bit more difficult. You can just go by your ears. But your goal is to get the highest RPM. Otherwise, you can also use a vacuum gauge. And you're going to go off that port that's on the driver's side. Right there. That's manifold vacuum. And then, in that instance, you're going for the highest vacuum. So, we prefer going by RPMs, but you can go by vacuum if you don't have a, a good way of going by RPMs. The other thing is, if you play around with those screws and absolutely nothing's happening at all, then you got to take the carburetor off and clean it. So the first thing you have to do when making any carburetor adjustments is get it warmed up. You want the engine at operating temperature. Also, we'd prefer to do this with the air cleaner on, but honestly, it's a real pain, so you might not be able to. Not a huge deal if you can't. We got the engine warmed up. And we want to set our idle at about 800, and that's our starting point. All I have is a vacuum gauge, so that's how we're going to do this one. The actual number doesn't matter for our purposes. All we care is the highest number is the best number. A good starting point on your screws is to screw them all the way in and then back out one and a half turns. So we're going to do that on each side. Half. One. Half. Bury this one. Half. One. Half. Now we're going to start one side at a time. I'm going to start with the driver's side. Hopefully we'll both be able to see the vacuum gauge. I might have to move it a little. But we're going to start by screwing out the driver's side screw. I know it's hard to see the vacuum gauge, but it's the best place I can put it. Again, the value doesn't matter. We just want it as high as possible. We're starting out one and a half turns out on the driver's side, and we're going to continue backing. We're going to continue backing it out and watch the gauge. So now we're at two. Two and a half. So that keeps going up a little bit. And at three, we're going back down. So we're going to go back to two and a half. Where we got our highest vacuum. Now we want to check the tack. If it raised more than 40 or 50 RPM, you want to set it back down to 800. So let's check that. The RPMs did go up just a hair, but not enough for us to mess with it. Let's do the passenger side. Same thing on the passenger side. We're starting one and a half turns out. We're going to continue going out while watching the vacuum. That's two, two and a half, and three, 
see it going down just a little bit. So we're going to go back to two and a half. And now we can fine tune them just a little bit to see if we can sneak any more vacuum out of this. So we're going back to the driver's side. And we'd rather be lean than rich. So we'll go in just a little bit. We got a little bit more vacuum, about a quarter of a turn in, and a half a turn, it's not doing us any better. So we're going to go back about a quarter turn from where we were, and try the same thing on the other side. And the pasture side was actually good. I ended up in the exact same spot that I left it the time before. Now that we have them both adjusted, we're gonna check the tack again. So the tack is pretty steady, but it did raise a little bit more. I'm gonna adjust that down just a little bit, and then we're all done. That's how to adjust the idle mixture screws on your Edelbrock carburetor. Thanks for watching. Give the video a like, subscribe for our subscriber. We're going to do a whole series of videos on tuning this carburetor. So be sure to stick around, check them out. I'll see you guys next time.